What's up, YouTube? My name is Reaper556, and I will be doing my first gun review, and it will be in a 9mm caliber. Uh, I know I wanted to do this channel simply because in my experiences of going out and shooting and things of that nature, I realized that a lot of people in my area don't know that much about firearms, and I know in my past experiences, I've taught a lot of people so I will be doing more more reviews. All right, this is my first review. This review will be be done on the Century Arms Canic TP9 SA, and the SA stands for single action. But before I even go into this, I'd like to give a special shout out to Seven Reasons Skydex who supplied me this shirt and also gave me this custom holster. Very high quality. I would recommend you go to him. He has an Instagram. I will be able to link that in the description below. Below. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. This is what all comes with it. I purchased this firearm at Academy Sports, roughly about 369 plus tax. Not bad for a nine millimeter, considering what all you get. It comes with the paddle. Then it also comes with a speed loader, a lock for safety, an extra grip for adjustable for, some, for someone who has a smaller or large hand. Also comes with shot cap instructions. And then it also comes with a cleaning, cleaning rod for cleaning your gun and it comes with the manual and the extra mag now I this is I would roughly say probably about my third farm that I've purchased and by so far for the amount of money that you get you're getting more for your more bang for your buck so to speak because this is the first experience where I've had this much actually coming to a gun for the price that you're getting now what made me do this is because in today's society the nine millimeter, the technology has advanced so far into it that I want to find a nice, decent carry gun that's not too big, not too small, and had the right amount of weight. Now, what I do like about this gun is that even if it's full, I want to just for safety, pop the mag out, make sure it's clear, safety first. One thing that I do like about this gun is the fact that even when it's fully loaded, it's not cumbersome, and it has a high mag capacity. This this gun has 18 rounds with one in the chamber, so that's very, very good for a lot of nine millimeters. It's not too big. The recoil is not too bad, and from me going to the range, I realized that you can shoot any kind of ammunition out of this gun with no fail. Now, I, I, I said earlier that it's called TP9SA, and the reason being is because it has the trigger safety, basically what the Glock has, but it also has the ambidextrous decocker, meaning that once you see that red indicator, it's ready to fire. But if you were to decock it, basically, even with a round loaded in the chamber, it will not fire because this is a single action pistol. Now, Canic does offer a double action version of this gun, but it's not at the same price range. But based on my experiences, I have really haven't had any problems. I've actually put, I want to say, at least a thousand rounds since I've owned it. And I've owned the gun for about a good five months. So I have no problems with this gun. Um, most people, that's not, not really too easy to say, considering the fact that, you know, when they're in the market for a new 9mm. But I've had no problems out of this gun. I've shot anything between... Tula ammo, which we all know that fouls the barrel, and without fail, it still continually shoots. Now, the only thing that I really have noticed, and it's really been user error on my part, is the fact that if you press the trigger, you got to make sure that you get the, the trigger safety. Otherwise, it will lock up and will not fire. But once you get past that part, it's not, it's not a problem. Uh, the trigger pull is a little on the heavy side. But it's not that bad for a full-size 9mm pistol. Um, Follow-up follow shots, 
are pretty much what you would compare to any other 9mm. I wouldn't say to a Glock because they perfected it, but the fact that you get out of this gun for what you purchased, I'm extremely happy. And for anyone who is interested or in the market for a 9mm, this gun is perfectly safe. It's a really good budget gun. And I would recommend this to anybody who's actually in for a 9mm handgun. All right, so you notice the target behind me. This was actually done a couple of days ago, and this was done at 10 yards. And I actually shot Tula ammo. A lot of people don't like Tula ammo because it fouls the gun, and right after your session practicing with it, it's uh, you have to clean your gun, which is such true. But still, other than that, I like to use uh, federal aluminum. I don't really like to use brass because it's the same thing. You really get the same amount of you know, accuracy as far as that goes is just different between brass and aluminum. Aluminum, you can't reload, but that's the whole purpose if I'm just target shooting. But this was done at 10 yards, and despite the ammo, I have seen some differences between me using the aluminum federal versus the uh, steel case tool of ammo, but I generally get about the same amount of results. As you, as you can see right here, a couple of times I've actually hit the same hole twice and even sometimes even three times and this was a 50 round session at, at 10 yards so you see just about for the most part i've hit not necessarily dead center mass but i've hit majority of the target given the type of ammo that i shot so this is the result of the pistol that i that i actually recommended to you and you can see the results for yourself and make a decision for you but i'm happy with it i hope you will be too My previous review, I brought up the host that I purchased for this weapon, which is from uh, Seven Reasons Kydex. Just want to show you how easy it is to pull from the holster, like so. But, but for safety purposes, just so you know, I'm gonna take the magazine out. Magazine is loaded, but it is it is empty. So take that out so no one gets hurt. Safety first. And this is a in the waistband holster, by the way. So. Just how easy it is. Reflex, quick, no draw, no hang up, no problem. Just like that. Yeah. 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 No image of gimmick. Simply gifted. Living life like I'm on the run. To the penitentiary, rather kill him with the pen. Left me for dead, but I still got bars. So if you need a ghost writer, Phantom of the Night, Black Coop. All right, once again, this is Reaper 556. I've done a pistol review on the Canon TP9 SA. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this pistol, please feel free to. Leave a comment and I will drop my email or contact information to reach me down in the description below. Also, remember to like and share. Sharing is caring, as they always say. Uh, I'm new to this, but I love doing what I'm doing. So show a brother some support. Thank you.